Say something. What? D just say something, please. Oh, for God's sake. Um, uh, yea, and God said to Abraham, you will kill your son Isaac. And Abraham said, I can't hear you. You'll have to speak into the microphone. And God said, oh, I'm sorry, is this better? Check, check. Check. Jerry, pull the high end out. I'm still getting some hiss back here. Say something about my mother. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Um, ah, I never knew Biscuit as a dog, but I did know her as a table. She was sturdy, all four legs the same length. Thanks, thanks, that's enough. Yes, yes, uh, Requiem and Terra Pax and so forth, I mean. Man, I don't like one of the Blues Brothers. No, you don't. You look more like a seventh grader at his first dance. I hate this thing. Who is this kook? Damn it. So close. All right, it's time for plan B. We're getting on that plane. Well, well, no, just hold on a second. Dean, that plane is leaving with over 100 passengers on board. And if we're right, that plane is going to crash. I know. Well, okay, then we're getting on the plane. We need to find that demon and exercise it. Look, I'll get the tickets. You just go get whatever you can out of the trunk. Whatever will make it through security. Meet me back here in five minutes. Are you okay? No, not really. What? What's wrong? Well, I kind of have this problem with, uh... Flying? This has never really been an issue until now. You're joking, right? Do I look like I'm joking? Why do you think I drive everywhere, Sam? All right, uh, I'll go. What? I'll do this one on my own. Are you nuts? You said it yourself, the plane's gonna crash. Look, Dean, we can do it together. I can do this one by myself. I'm not seeing a third option here. Come on! Really? Man. Peter, you can't drink that outside. You, you can end up in jail. And not the good jail, like on Cinemax, the man jail. Go back and pay the bill, Peter. You, uh, don't want to break the law. I can do whatever I want. Watch this. Oh, now you're just being crazy. Hey, that's against the law. You're coming with me. Uh, uh, uh. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Ja, 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 just like the bad guy from Lethal Weapon 2. I've got diplomatic immunity, so hey, mate, you can't sue. I can write graffiti, even jaywalk in the street. I can riot loop, not give a hoot, and touch your sister's teeth. Can't touch me. You can't touch me. What in God's name is he doing? You can't touch me. I believe that's the worm. Stop. Peter time. I'm a big shot. There's no doubt. Light a fight and pee it out. Don't like it? Kiss my rump. Just for a minute, let's all do the bump. Can't touch me. Yeah, do the Peter Griffin bump. Can't touch me. I'm Presidential Peter. Interns think I'm hot. Don't care if you're handicapped, I'll still park in your spot. I've been around the world, from Hartford to Back Bay. It's Peter, go Peter, up to Peter, yo Peter, let's see Reed just wrap this way. Can't touch me. Except for you. You can touch me. Get real. Well, that's pretty much all there is to tell, kids. The Griffin family history is a rich tapestry. But since we're all gonna die, there's one more secret I feel I have to share with you. I did not care for the Godfather. What? Did not care for the Godfather. How can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. Peter, it's so good. It's like the perfect movie.
I, this is what everyone always says. Whenever they say, oh, Robert my. De Niro, Al Pacino. I, I mean, you listen, never see. Robert Duvall! I, no, I, no, fine, fine actor. Did not like the movie. Why not? Did not, couldn't get into it. Uh, explain yourself. What didn't it, you like about it? It insists upon itself, Lois. What? It insists upon itself. What does that even mean? Because it has a valid point to make. It's insistent. It takes forever getting in. You, know, you, spend, you, you spend like six and a half hours, and then, you know, I can't even get through. I can't even finish a movie. I've never even seen the You've ending. You've never seen the ending? Well, well, how can you say you don't like it if you haven't even given it a chance? I but, agree with Stewie. It's not really fair. So that, I have tried on three separate occasions to get through it, and I, I get to the scene where all the guys are sitting around on the easy chairs. Yeah, it's a great scene. I that's, love that that's scene. Not a noted great. in every anno. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's like they're speaking a different language. That's where I lose interest and you I go away. They're speaking I'm, Italian! The language they're speaking is a language of subtlety, something you don't understand. I love the money pit. That is my answer to that statement. Exactly. Well, there you go. Whatever. I like that movie, too. Morning, sunshine. Oh, what time is it? Uh, it's about 5.45. In the morning? Yeah. Where does the day go? Did you sleep last night? Yeah, I grabbed a couple of hours. You're a liar. So I was up at three, and you were watching the George Foreman infomercial. Hey, what can I say? It's riveting TV. When's the last time you got a good night's sleep? I don't know. A little while, I guess. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look, I appreciate your concern. Well, I'm not concerned about you. It's your job to keep my ass alive, so I need you sharp. Seriously, you still having nightmares about Jess? Yeah. But it's not just her, it's everything. I just forgot, you know, this job. Man, that kid's to you. Well, you can't let it. You can't bring her home like that. So what? All this, it never keeps you up at night? Never. You're never afraid. No, not really. <laughs> That's not fear. That is precaution. All right, whatever.